hot mics. Hello, I mean, technically... everyone. Hello, welcome to another episode of the Dim. This is episode 10. Wow, 10 we, episodes. We, I know, we've already done 10 episodes and still not exactly a direction to go in, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I am joined, of course, as always... Obviously, because we're on his channel, because I am mean, an expert little, at these things. It would be a little weird otherwise. Yeah, I just stole his channel. Uh, and with, with with us tonight is one of Dev's friends, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, goes by the name of Cold Hearted Jim Unicorn, which is a very wordy name, but you can't forget it. <laughs> exactly, Devil. Who needs direction when you have say, Yeah, see, an Devil idea. already is a fan. It's good. Uh, so welcome on tonight. <laughs> we were just we were just discussing dick pics before you came on. Right? Well, well, while you're on your stream, really. <laughs> you want a little pre-show? Just go there. But <laughs> uh, how are you doing, Deb? How's your knee? <laughs> My knee's better. My knee's fine. It'll be worse tomorrow. Uh, I'll I'll post pictures if I have a bruise. <laughs> yeah, she she literally got up to go have a smoke, and all we hear is bang. <laughs> it was oh, bad. My knee. <laughs> it was bad. It was pretty bad. What's well, the life of a pro streamer, Dev? You can't. True. True. For real. I the the injuries you occur when you're streaming. My back hurts, especially playing this new game and. I have to sit up towards the keyboard. I was gonna say, and... Your back hurts from carrying your team. That nah, that's that's not all the time. That's more of Chuck's back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chuck's uh, back uh, really hurts. At least you're being more modest this time. Not like, yeah, I totally fucking do it. Like, yeah, I'm the no, best. We no, I'm we not. We do. We won't talk about Chuck. We Chuck's know that we podcast. we know that we spectate. You should totally get Chuck on this podcast. That'd be hilarious. I'd be down to have him as a guest. Yeah. I don't have anyone really. It'd be interesting. Well, okay then. Now we know that. <laughs> Great. Now that's gonna be clipped. That's perfect. I mean, I mean, we're like I'm, he, he we're... does have a feet only fan. We're not. Whoa. No. Stop this shit. Okay. Whoa. It's it's a cake smashing ASMR with my ugly feet pics. Okay. You have an OnlyFans for your feet pics? I know some people I, would like that. I really don't. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> no, it's legit a running It seems like point. I do now. <laughs> At this point, you should just make it for the meme. No, <laughs> that requires effort that I don't have time to do. Yeah, just uh, help. It seems like he's interested uh, in that. Whoa. <laughs> Bitey with the follow. Thanks. Welcome in. Thanks, Bitey. Glad, Glad to follow the following the following. new friend. Yeah. Leave my cologne, devil. Don't... <laughs> Don't encourage it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this so, is the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, now I have to ask, because it is one of the longest names, and I know long names on Twitch, because I used to have one for a couple months. Uh, where did you come up with the name Cold Hearted Jim Unicorn? Well, first off, I just rebranded. So if you thought that was long, <laughs> my name before this was Gamer Girl and Swole Mates. So it was a mouthful as well. Um, but I just did a rebrand, um, because of some stuff and, uh, the whole cold, ho cold hearted is cause I'm basically cold hearted now. Um, I'm a gym unicorn cause I live in the gym. I enjoy lifting heavy things and putting them down. No cardio. Um, and <laughs> if you, if you were to see my setup, everything is unicorn poop all over my desk. So nice. Straight, straight legit. Yeah. It really Yeti, is. Yeti would, be, Yeti would approve. 100%. Straight, oh, yeah. straight unicorn stuff everywhere. I've worn unicorn onesies on stream. Um, I, I honestly just, tried to get her to wear a thing. onesie. Yeah, we talked did, about I, it, but I didn't have any new ones, so I didn't rock a, it. I see one on your channel there. That's a good one. She is a snob like that. It's a nice name. Thanks, Devil. I appreciate it. <laughs> it, it, is, it is an interesting name. People are not going to forget that name. Nah, they, I, trust me, I've gone into some channels and they're like, cold-hearted Jim Unicorn, let's go stalker. And then you go and look at my socials and you're like, oh, okay. I, <laughs> so. I was I was running as an advertisement on my other channel uh, as the Chef Mike of Yeti Games TTV all together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just go into streams and people read it out loud. I'm like, yes, you gave me free advertising. Right? <laughs> 
but I but I but now that but now that I have my own actual streaming channel, I just put I just rebranded it back to Not Chef Mike, so I have the Chef Mike as my stream channel and Not Chef Mike as my admin. There you so. go. Oh, because that way it's not as just confusing. Call me devil and not gaming devil. I love you. Oh well, you're welcome. Well, you know your your name is gaming, so your name is gaming, and then devil's your last name, obviously. So. All right, so just because I have the power to do it. Sure. Uh, no, don't you fucking dare, Devilin. You, what, what do you think I'm doing? You're going to do a dance workout. I already know it. I mean, I could. Since, I mean, if but, wants okay, wait. If you do a dance part. workout, we're going to be referring back to Dave's um, Dave's comment in chat just a little bit ago about the tattoos and bad boys thing, and I'm going to have to do it to that one again because... <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, I, I have something else happen. Like, Oh, I'm doing what, something, what are you doing? I'm doing something else. It's it's gonna be much more fun. I don't really trust this either. I don't either. I mean, I, I don't know where I'm this is going. This. Do you have the it. backup on a uh, standby mic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's in the chat. It's okay. Okay, good. I legit, Devil be on standby. I was gonna say, <laughs> Devil be on standby. Oh my word. Or we'll just go raid Sally's. <laughs> Sally He's like, oh, sorry, podcast is done. <laughs> go raid this person. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> we fucked up. Dead? It's all right. <laughs> we fucked up. <laughs> I've said, I've been saying I fucked up a lot lately. <laughs> My gaming has not been I mean, good. It's it's Chuck's <laughs> fault, right? It is always Chuck's fault. I have new commands too for Tarkov, and they're fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like about me discharging Are my you gun putting and putting a keeping... picture of her as her as her little panel thing. Yep. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I'm looking. I'm looking at our on our stream, and he's just putting a picture of you flexing. Okay, hold on. Let me go pull him up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is Deb. That's not even a flattering one. I could have sent you a That's better one. Man, man. <laughs> my face is so RBF, but I mean, I normally have RBF, but damn. You know what? Deb, it was, it, it was either this or one of you who turned to the side, freaking sticking that ass of yours out. I mean, that's better. I like my ass looking out that, like, th that's not a complimenting picture. Change it, Deb. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if it's just me or not, but it still says you're playing Tarkov. Um, yes, it is still saying I'm playing Tarkov. Let me change that. Technically, my title says Tarkov Cod, um, Tarkov Podcast Cod, so we were Yeah, uh, read the title, through. guys. God. Hold Seriously? on. Hold on. Um, title. No, not title. Alright, fine. I, I is it know. title? What's... What's the command? I forget. I just had a brain fart. Don't look at me. I'm not the one to ask. I barely know nope. how to operate my own channel. Yeah. I'll get it. I'll get it. Jesus. Uh, just, <laughs> just, just chatting. I feel like she's struggling more than I was. No, I got it. I got it's okay. It. She's pro streamer. It's fine. I mean, she should be after this long. Okay, it's updated. It's updated. <laughs> It's updated. So, like, how much, so how much time do you spend in the gym then? Since you don't do any cardio, I don't do cardio because if I did cardio, I'd be even like thinner, and I don't need to be any thinner because I'm already skinnier and I'm trying to get thicker. Um, I go to the gym uh, five days a week, Monday through Friday, and um, this past workout week because my workouts change every two weeks. Um, I had three leg days, so I have three leg days broken down. So quads was on Monday, Wednesday was glutes, and then Friday was hamstrings, and then Tuesday was chest and shoulders, and Thursday hey, was back and go, arms. Happy. What did you do now? Oh you wait, I gotta go back. Yeah, that one's better, and that's more me. <laughs> that's more America, Deb. Yeah, that's I like more, that one. That screams more America. Yeah, that screams more America. That's more me right now. She she says that she's in a, in a like, call with like a Canadian. I like that one better. I'll take that one. <laughs> yeah, that one's, that that's one's okay. much better. I can much I can better. Be I can't, much I, better. I can't possibly do that. No, I, I, I mean I'm like I, I might I might make you do something, but I'm not gonna do the uh, dance workout. I did that earlier, and I felt like I got plus ripped off. Plus it plus how it about, doesn't make sense about, when we can't see you on our. How about you just have me flex? There you go. I was gonna say that that's that would be that would be more more appropriate. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, there she goes. For those that are not watching on her side, she's just flexing. Yeah, just flex. There she goes, stroking the mic again too. 
Looks very good. I always strike the mic because this fucking I don't. It's, uh, I can't wait till I get a gaming room. <laughs> it's just a poker blue mic at all times. Yes, actually, it'll just be. It, I can have it set up completely different. Like once I get a gaming room, I'm probably gonna get like a different desk set up too, um, and my room will be completely unicorn po- unicorn pooped out. Um, I seriously I- thought she was about to say unicorn porn. No, unicorn Whoa! poop. Whoa, Jeez, Dev. Holy cow! No, um, she's only I, her own channel. Only fans channel, which is only unicorn porn. Unicorn, unicorn porn. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know, rule thirty-four. That's all I'm gonna say. I wouldn't put it past somebody. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I would not put it past somebody at all. It's, it's it's probably a furry site out there already. Oh yeah, I'm all sure right. it is. So twenty minutes in, let's ask the first question. <laughs> I did. He it did. Was, oh, He's actually much... asked two, I think, to be honest. To be fair. Yeah, I did. He's asked I'm two. I'm on this. I'm not. Deb, do you have questions for her? I, I, I don't know. I did I'm my like, homework. Well, I wasn't told I had to do homework. I was just told I was going to be on the podcast being asked the questions. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But did Dev do his homework and get questions? Oh, no. I left that up to you, Mike. Unicorn oh, porn, raining glitter. It's raining glitter. Yeah, yeah just throw glitter at the end of the scene. It's okay. That's the climax. You just throw glitter. Just throw glitter. It's all good. <laughs> Holy cow. This is wow. already me the other rails. I'm totally wrong about what was going to happen today. <laughs> I told you. I, I knew what it was. Like, I, anyways. So, <laughs> chef, so, Chef, are you really a chef? Chef Mike? I am. I am. Uh, I'm a. I'm an actual pastry chef and a regular kind of chef too. Oh, pastry chef. Okay, so where do you live? Canada. I'm in Canada. Ah, oh, and we got another Canadian. I got gotcha. you. Fuck it though, yeah. man. I want some pastries. Can you send some? Uh, I mean, it's probably a little far. Are you, care kidding? Packages. Are you kidding? I'm still waiting for mine. Care packages. It's closer than you. Okay, I'm doing, <laughs> done blowing up your Discord now. Keep blowing it up, style. That's what it's there for. <laughs> I mean, well, so like, cause you're in like, like Florida. Yeah, I'm in Florida, and to be fair, it's I've so I get Chuck is in Canada, and I game with quite a few Canadians, and we actually this was like probably by now almost a year ago, we were going to do care packages to each other, and we he he was gonna send me a Canadian one of like things you only get in Canada that are only Canada related, and then I was gonna send him an American one of things that you can only get in America that's American cool. related. Hey, hey, it was going to be really I, cool. I, just, I sent you a quick uh, DM. It's like, I'm going to check if, that on my phone and not on my stream. No, 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 no. Your, your, your viewers are missing out on oh the my on God. my phone. Okay, I'll, I'll pull it up. I just wanted it's to like, if you want to get thicker, I, I have pastries and stuff. You know? <laughs> pastries will help you get thicker. Oh my gosh. Those look so yummy. Okay, now I want fucking sweets. That's just wrong. <laughs> That'll help you get thicker. I know as a fat guy, I'm being biased. <laughs> um so no lie i eat whatever i want and pasta and sweets are my favorite it's not that i'm not right. trying um it's not that i'm not trying no it's not that i'm not trying Your metabolism probably just works better and you work out it, five times a week yeah so. it does it works it works pretty fast um i make uh slut brownies and actually i have a slut brownie emote made after it in my unicorn onesie because i ate them for the first time on stream in my unicorn onesie um, so a guy made an emo of me eating my slut brownie in my unicorn onesie. It was pretty, cool. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. Nice. But um, a slut brownie is chocolate chip cookie dough on the bottom, um, and then you put an Oreo in the middle, and you put brownie on top of it and oh cook it. God. It's fucking amaze balls. All right, Dad, we okay. got to get that for much... you. Put you in a coma. Okay, how much is that going to cost to send them? To send oh, one? Man. Um... Yeah, see, style. I'm like, I'm so down. Donations for for Chef Mike to send us sweets. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't know link it, it would uh it, it would probably be, it'd probably be pretty expensive depending on where you're located like, i mean i'm in the northern part of florida so that might be okay actually all the pastry let's go i'm like, telling I, you right now like i'm a fat kid that was part mind. of my valentine's day collection so that was, i like, figured i i thought so with the bottom pick but you know definitely yeah. if you pay the right price you'll get them quicker i'm just saying no, I promised I'm in PA. That I was going to say, no, 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 no. I was promised first order was free. Yes, because Dev wants to try them, and he said he might only get one shot at anyway because he might go into a sugar coma. That and some other that and some other things that he's getting ready to hopefully do. So, yeah, you need to yeah. – You need to you need send them now. now. <laughs> so, yeah. Style said um, he's in Pennsylvania, so he's actually closer to you. So, 
That might actually not be as. That's expensive. more doable. That's yeah, way more doable. It is. What part What's of Pennsylvania? Up, what part of Pennsylvania style? Yeah, that that makes that makes a difference. You know, if you're from if you're from Philly, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh oh, uh, Kyle, you may not want to answer that question. <laughs> no, just... he's putting dogs on me already. Damn it! Oh. no, it's okay. I'm he not an Eagles Philly. fan, so I'm not concerned. He said Philly. Philly. <laughs> he said Philly. He fucking said Philly. I only just said that because I said not to say it. Hold on now, Mike. You're you're making it sound like there's something wrong with being an Eagles fan. I mean, there might be. I don't know. I don't care. When's the last time a uh, Canada team won the Super Bowl? Just Uh, hanging out? Yeah, we're we're hanging out on this podcast. Never. Or or any of of those uh, big sports trophies? Uh, Go Birds! Kyle says, go birds. <laughs> go birds. Go I got birds. I got, <laughs> your, motherfucker. I got your back, man. I got your back. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm I just saying became... a Bruins fan. Oh, no. I'm a Philly fan, too. Oh, of course. I just became a Bengals fan before they made it to the Super Bowl. So um, you're, you're not like you're not a bandwagon fan. No, I, I, I became a Bengals fan before they made it to the Super Bowl, and then they just happened to make it to the Super Bowl this year. Um, but I I'm think it's actually the quarterback's cute, but oh, I don't. <laughs> negative. Um, I um, I'm a big Florida fan, so uh, okay. Miami Dolphins, Florida Marlins. The Heat. Oh, she decided to pick a team that might have a chance to win something. That's why. <laughs> wow. Because oh. poor Florida, unless it's the Tampa Bay Lightning, it ain't, there ain't no win in there. <laughs> That's not true. Our Gators do actually really well. I'm not a Gator fan either. I mean, I've been to more Gator games than I have my own team, but it's all good. <laughs> Let's go Patriots, Poe says. I'm actually from New Jersey. Where in New Jersey? I was in New Jersey for a while. I just moved to Delaware, but work wait in Philly. Wait a second. Pa- Pats fan, where? Poe is a Pats fan. Poe Digga is Let's Go Patriots. Cool. I was always uh, I was there always a fan of whatever Tom Brady team was on. So I guess Blackwood. I was in Tom's River players. in um um Bayville. I have I I used to go down to Haddon Heights on the on the uh, holidays. Okay. Yeah, not far at all. No, I enjoy New Jersey. I was only there for winter time though, and I like went through two blizzards. But <laughs> not like a place to go during the winter time is Jersey. That's like me going to Winnipeg during a storm. Like, Well, I mean, I moved there. I didn't have a choice, and then I just happened <laughs> to leave right Snap before summer going. hit. So, yeah. Shit, don't <laughs> come to freaking Massachusetts during the winter. Style says Haddon Heights was like 15 minutes for me. Yeah. Thank you. I miss New Jersey pizza and the fried Oreos we used to get when we would get Oh, pizza fried Oreos? Jeez. Yeah, they are fucking on these balls. I haven't tried them in my air fryer, but I've heard they're really easy to do. Of course you have an air fryer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> air fryers are life. Yeah, our it, air fryers are great, man. What it keeps mean? cooking have, down so I much. I don't Instant have one of those, too. but I do want one. I want to. Yeah, it's also good. Actually, Your have, best actually, friend actually, lives in Florida? We're in Florida, so. Actually, my family has two of them. Two Instapots. Yeah, two I've heard Instapots they're really good. They're sitting like, right next to each other on the counter. I mean, I have an instant oh, rice cooker. Right Does that count? And I have a crock pot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> sure why, not? why not? St. Lucie, I believe. Nice. What's, what, what, what's your guilty pleasure food then? Like that you, that you would always have. Who? Me? Yeah. Like, put that into more context. Like, when? Right. But like, you what's, just, what's something your, like. It's your cheat day. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna eat whatever okay. the fuck you want. Okay, first of all, I don't do cheat days. I, every day is a cheat day for me. I don't have to worry about that. Um, so that doesn't count. Um, I don't know. Okay. I like what's my favorite food? Is that like more sure. maybe yeah. the question? What's my favorite food? I don't have food is food, dude. Give me all the food. <laughs> Cause I love I love pizza, pretty much anything pizza. So we just had pizza tonight for dinner because I'm doing nice. a lazy Sunday stream. Bum, it's Sunday fun day slash bum day. Um, so we did just order pizza. Um, uh, I'm Puerto Rican, so one of our favorite dishes that we like to make is um, uh, chorizo with yellow rice and plantains. Oh, and it's so good. And you know, like okay, 
So literally, it's all made in the air fryer minus the rice. And the rice is literally, you put it in the pot and boil it for 20 minutes. You don't even have to touch it. So it's really quick, sure. easy. You just throw everything in there. We also will do it with a mojo steak. And then that is phenomenal. Okay. So with a little bit of adobo on it, it's really good. Oh, adobo. Oh, I fucking love adobo. Yes. Stio said I, he had I, General Sal's chicken pizza for dinner, which he did post it in Discord. That, so. that sounds fantastic. That sounds interesting. I love General yeah. Sal's chicken. Okay, wait. So, because we're talking General Sal's chicken, has anybody been to PF Chain? I have one, so no. <laughs> you don't have one, so no. Say, yeah, I was going to say, it might not be up in Canada, huh? Say, no. there's, that, there's not one close to me. We don't really, I don't think no? we really have any Asian food chains, really, to be honest, like in general. Okay, well, Style has. So, Style, we just had a P.F. Chang's. Real Puerto Ricans would never use an air fryer. <laughs> I know my grandma is probably rolling over her in a grave. Shut up, Dave. He's Puerto Rican, so I he mean, likes to fuck with me. Up, Dave. I mean, Dave, I agree. Listen, oh, okay, wait, 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 listen. Tell me this is a good logic. Okay, so I'm Puerto Rican, right? My dad's uh -huh. Puerto Rican. Dave's Puerto Rican. His mom's Puerto Rican. So we're half and half Puerto Rican, right? So if me and Dave were to have a baby, wouldn't that make a full Puerto Rican? No. I feel like that's how that works. I know it technically, it... listen, I know technically it does it. But if you're in math class, a half and a half makes a whole, right? Well, then. No, nope. well, that's on. American math. I don't know. What it's... I was that's say, American math. Hold on now. By that logic, you have 200% of a baby then. Because there's still the other that's two halves. Scott Steiner, janky ass math. Oh, right uh, that's funny. That 225% chance of making Puerto Rican babies. <laughs> It'd be a cu it would be a cute Puerto Rican kid, probably, I would think. Also, Devil, it is kind of shameful that you're Scottish and don't have a fryer. <laughs> Your entire, oh, like, goodness. diet in that country is fried food. It's fried food. You my ex is Puerto Rican. I miss the family party meals, and my daughter's half Puerto Rican. I, I'm t listen, we had, anytime we go to my, my, my Puerto Rican side of my family's house, oh my gosh, all the food you can have, empanadas. Oh, my, um, my dad came up from Miami, because I'm originally from Miami, and he brought coquitos, and oh, the pastries, pastries, oh, frah. If you don't you eat Spanish what? food, or if you've never had it, it's, you don't know what you're missing. You know what? All I can say is, Freaking Italian blood runs in my veins. Empanadas yeah, and plantains I, I can look I get, off of. I get the big family feast. Homemade Dev's empanadas. blood is marinara sauce. Um, listen, I love me some Italian food too. Pasta. I, I can eat pasta every day. Like that's, Homemade uh, that's pasta every Sunday. Yes! Uh, mamma mia! I, my grandmother, the whole, you go to her house, the whole house, ugh. I'm fucking drooling over here just thinking about I, I, it. I think like I think of the foreign food I've tried recently. My favorite has been like is Filipino chicken adobo. Filo okay, um, Filipino okay. food. So I dated a Filipino, and man, the Filipino food is amazing. It's so good. It, it is look really the most good. Appetizing at times, but you eat no, it. No, but like, you oh eat it. God. It's amazing. Mac and cheese is my go-to. I love mac and cheese. Style. What is your favorite mac and cheese out of it's a box? Velveeta. <laughs> out of a box. We're we're starting with out of a box. <laughs> is it? No, no, no. I don't favorite out of a box. No, but just you have to ask favorite favorite mac and cheese out of a box, and then you have to ask your favorite mac and cheese at a restaurant or a fast food joint. I don't even order that out of fast food. No. Can you get mac and cheese in fast food? Yeah. Uh, Chick fil A. Yeah. I was gonna say oh, another of, place I don't have. I was gonna say there's plenty of places. <laughs> It might just be Man, an American you, you, thing. You Americans have like everything out of fast food. Well, we well, do. Like, I'm not, I'm not surprised. We do. You know what? I've been to places where I could get you know. I'm, I'm gonna say it with air quotes. Poutine. Even 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 gaming poutine. Gets, gets uh, yeah. fast food. Poutine. Well, the UK is pretty much the same diet as the Americans, to be honest. So style says Cracker Barrel white cheddar mac and cheese out of the box. I have oh, actually Cracker not. Cracker Barrel. Okay. I have yeah, not. Yeah. I have not tried the Cracker Barrel's mac and cheese to make at home, but in. Cracker Barrel. Like, if you go to Cracker Barrel, their mac and cheese is really good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Cracker Barrel is good food. We See, do have one in like we do have one in Toronto. Yeah, Cracker Barrel is good. That's my jam. It's honestly very. It's still very inexpensive, and we'll actually DoorDash it, and it's like twenty bucks for me and my son to eat. And it's a, it's almost like a home cooked meal when you don't want to cook. So instead of going to get fast food like through the drive through, it's a little better. I've just been doing Hello Fresh because it's just me. Mostly. I just tried Hello Fresh for the first time. It's 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 pretty good when it's like one or two people or three people even like it's 
Yeah. The only the only thing I don't like is there's no leftovers. Like it is perfect portion, which is fine. Yeah. It should be perfect portion, but it sucks when there's like not a lot of leftovers. Yeah. When Fast it's just yeah. Mac and cheese will murder anyone. Yeah. It's style. I agree. When it's just me, they don't have like an option for just one person, so I just get two people, so I get like two meals out of it. But that's good. That's a yeah. plus. Yeah. That's a huge plus. So like eighty bucks is going to the grocery store if I drove all the way there anyway. Not even here. Eighty dollars would get you like two meals. Yeah, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Like once you've bought everything, yeah. it does. Hello Fresh is definitely worth it. Um, I I concur with that. I did it. I tried it once for a week. Um, I haven't tried it again yet, but I want to. And the all the meals we had were really really. And you good. can just like pick and choose which week you want. Like... Yep, yep, exactly. My sister is a boss for Chick Fil A, so when I visit, it's fat kiss status. Hey, same. Okay, <laughs> style. Nice. Have you tried this? I saw it on TikTok. If you get the crispy chicken nuggets. The mac and cheese, put them in the mac and cheese, and add buffalo to it. Oh. Oh. And I add a little bit of ranch, because it's even better. See, I nice. used to have a friend that worked at Friendly's. Oh, I didn't remember I Friendly's. Friendly's. So, when I used to go visit them at work, yeah, fat kid status. I'm always a fat kid, so <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, you definitely look like a fat kid. Um... <laughs> If and, uh, you watched me put away food, you would, and I'm always hangry, it, and it's not pretty. Mike, I the am. only way I can put it is to say, Sean. I know it's like it's not fair because like I look at a cupcake and I'll gain twenty pounds. I mean, I'm not saying I don't. I wouldn't gain twenty pounds, but it's just different, I guess, because I <laughs> work out. She it immediately as soon as she eats it. Like, <laughs> goddamn right, I have. <laughs> Shall we, shall we move on with the questions? Sure, sure. So, how, De Devlin, how did you guys meet each other? Like, because, like, you told me before you and Penn both know Deb. Oh, boy, I don't even remember. I was going to say, so, I met Pinlock through Kenny's stream. Um, and I think I met Pinlock first, didn't I, Dev? Yeah. And then Dev came in from... From Penlock, didn't you? No, I forget who I came in from. Damn! Wow, um, it's been that long. It's, it's been, been that long, long and it was all, it was all around the same time. So, um, who the hell were we hanging with back then that we don't talk to anymore? Oh, I know who. I just sound like the Mean Girls. Club. No, yeah. I know who, and we won't hold on. Oh, Dev, hang on five hold seconds. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll Discord chat it to you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that, uh, yeah. We we won't we won't we won't discuss it or say that name on stream. It's not somebody that's okay. a part of our community that's anymore. Fair. Um, that's but fair. it was a mutual community way back when that we were a part of, and that's actually where we did come from. And then um, we all ended up meeting Penn and everybody else that we kind of run yeah. with. So yeah, yeah. We went out a few weeks ago. She mentioned that we should have you on because they, her and Dev both liked you a lot. So. Yes, so Pin's my little penguin love, um, and if you've ever watched Pinlock stream, you know that she does have an avatar that she runs. Um, Pin is actually the first one that I saw ha that had a stream like that, and then from there I kind of saw others that did it as well. Um, and if you're not one of the lucky ones, I know what Pin looks like in real life, and she's Same. adorable. She is. Yeah, she is adorable. She is very so, adorable. I think, Pen... I think she was the first VTuber that I was familiar with too, actually. Yeah, she was. That was the first time I'd ever seen a VTuber, um, and it's really cool to see because I've seen her kind of come up because she like kind of just started with her VTube, and now it's even grown more and like more animated and like all the stuff she does now. It's really neat to see how oh, she's yeah. progressed with it. Um, yeah. And then Trinity is another VTuber that I saw. Sleepy is gonna do VTubing yeah, now. Sleepy Dev, you, yeah, yeah, and Dev, you have one too, don't you? Um, I, my model is. Yeah, my debut is March 12th, 20th. Yeah, so, and Dev's fixing to do it, too. I think it's awesome, um, and I say that personally as a female streamer, why I think that's awesome, because I, and, and I don't care if I get hate for it, I am not the type of girl that does, there's a couple different ways of saying it, but, like, the uber girls Still that same. dress up in the cosplay and they're kind of, like, half-naked, or the OnlyFan lingerie girls, that's not me. When I come on stream... Unless I'm in a onesie, and that onesie's like from head to toe covered, I'm in gym workout clothes or pajamas, and that's sweats and a t-shirt. Like I am not here yeah. to like present my body to you. That's like not how this works. So um, I think it's cool um, 
with the anime stuff to like do it that way because it's it's another you get to like be you but like you don't have to like show yourself to be you you know what i mean it's not projecting the person or like sexualizing mm. the person you right. know so yeah fun facts that's why i don't like dick pics in my inbox <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. but the memes are fine the memes are fine they're great we've got a couple in there already and they're freaking amazeballs but the hey, actual man. <laughs> Actually, oh, hey, know. speak of speak of the penguin. Speak of the penguin. She must have, she must have heard you talk about her. Of course, your ears burn when I talk about you. Come on now. Talk about <laughs> me when I'm not. It was nothing bad, Pen. It's okay. Not not this time. Not this time. You guys better not be mean to penguin. No, I've never once been. I, mean, I always try to be. I always try to be nice to her. I mean, I was conspiring with a few people against the penguin the other night. No, you weren't. Her game. I, no purposes. I, 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 legit, I legitimately was, actually. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that's not nice. He does it to me all the time with call-outs and going <laughs> swimming and, you know. Yeah, well, it's okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> if it's Deb, I approve. Oh, okay. I see. But if it's me or Dev, no. But, yeah, no. I, there's a strong possibility that I have a few different conspiracies going on for against Penn because, you know, there there may be some gifts happening and being sent to the Penguin. Oh, well, if that's the case, that's fine. And if you have my stream up, this is my gift from Penguin. Oh, God. It, Pen, it's Pen's a light-up like, unicorn. I'm not cute. She's amazing. She yeah. is freaking cute. Penn is amazing. She is, she is cute. From all she I know, just her voice is... alone is like... Yeah, wait, if you actually knew who she really was, you would be like, oh, yep, it all fits. Uh-huh. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. I'm yelling in your chat, Dev. Yeah, I see that. You're fine. <laughs> we we enjoyed it. It's okay. Pen, Pen is fucking adorable. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Pen, you can't... You have, you, see, look, Gaming Devil says you are, too. I know Gwen, if she was still... Or, uh, if oh, she's still in here, she definitely now, would. But see, now, the fun thing is... That with when Penn says that I'm not cute, I can actually picture her IRL face. Yes, I, IRL. I, yep. I can picture yep. IRL. Just, yep. Yep. I'm not yep. Cute. yep. Yeah. I can. I can hear yep. her voice. I can hear her. Totally. Say it. Totally. Oh can. yeah, Gwen's off wondering her goose. I forgot she's in Sally's stream. I can hear <laughs> it all right now. Yeah, I'm not cute. No, <clears throat> you're all cute. No, I'm definitely not. But thank you, Penn. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's okay. It's on the inside that counts. It's fine. I'll take that. Oh my word. <laughs> Deb's like, I don't know if I agree with that, Mike. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> met you. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hey, this is crazy. <laughs> I just met you, but I don't really think so. <laughs> Can I call you maybe? <laughs> call me maybe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> don't just don't I send mean, me dick pics. I mean... <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah, just here, here, here's, the, here's the thing. <laughs> Deb would probably let Mike call her just so she could set up a delivery of freaking cookies. <laughs> yeah, Fuck yeah, you can call me. Exactly what happened. Here's Fuck my yeah. number. Send if I get food, man. listen, yeah. I'm down. Here's my number, my credit card, my social security. I I, I do. I'm not trying to get deliveries to America if I can. Listen, people, people, like you know. The whole sending dick pics and, like, I guess dating scene, I guess you would maybe call it. Um, it, it I've, like, told people, like, if you want to, like, win me over, you need to feed me. Like, I, I, I've got to be fed. <laughs> like, Gaming you don't want to. Gaming Devil, I would, I would travel did. across the world to try Mike's food. Thank you. I would I love to go to Canada. So. I want to have a. She's in Scotland, so she can just travel away from Scotland to get Oh, my gosh. I want to have a. Try Mike's food. A, a gaming um, meetup, honestly. It's no longer a dating scene. It's become a hookup scene. Oh, no. 100% a thousand agree style. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a for sure. A thousand percent agree. Like, it is crazy how much social media is becoming a dating hookup. Like, my TikToks, like, people are, like, in my DMs about shit. And even on Instagram. Like, it's like, dude, this isn't a dating site. Like, Well, just look, just look at the controversies with uh, with <laughs> popular U uh, YouTubers or social media people that end up dating fans. And it's, like, super problematic at times. Well, the biggest thing right now is, oh, if you have a TikTok crush and you guys meet up, like, that's oh, a thing God. on TikTok, you know? No. So, 
Just I've never you know. used a dating app, and I never will. That's no. just my personal preference. I'd rather meet you in real life or something, but I mean... And there's too many catfishes, man. I've watched Catfish. Nah, oh, nope. I love that show. Yep. Yeah, like my, 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 my well, no, I love my, the show, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, it's, it's good. It's good as like a car crash. Whoa! I never realized how thirsty women are until TT came along. <laughs> oh damn! Wow! Oh, damn. No comment. I'm... Hold on. So let's back up, Castile. That sounds like a dig because he found me on TikTok. So, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, Hold up. <laughs> Is he saying that you're thirsty on TikTok? I, I, he needs to clarify. Hey, Style, you might want to run. Because yeah, and, 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 and wait, and back it up. Not, if you want to talk ass. about thirst traps, oh, no, no, the guys no, no, he's that I've seen on TikTok and their thirst traps, I didn't even know guys did OnlyFans until just recently, and they are providing it all over. Hey, come look at my spicy pics. I'm like, this guy's got a fucking OnlyFans? No, thank you. Yeah. Nope, I'm out. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> he said stuff. no. He said no, no, not like that. I don't run from shit. Well, let's go. Guns blazing. Guns blazing. Let's go. Fist her up and ready to go. I, I throw hands. Come on. Come at me, bro. <laughs> and on that note, this was a fun podcast. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> shit. He's running away. No. I, no, <laughs> Deb, it's okay. I'll just continue this on her stream. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go into my Discord. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Uh, te um, it's technically, we're technically in my Discord anyway, so it's fine. Oh, see? Yeah. <laughs> It's my, it's my, it's my, my business partner's so, Discord. I was going to so say, you, it's the business Discord. Yeah. If you do, if you do want to be on a serious note about TikTok, I'm a, a photographer. Um, and one of my favorite types of photography is boudoir. And okay. she's an amazing I have, photographer. I have tried posting on my TikTok, my boudoir sessions. And I'm talking about classy, covered up, nothing showing. Yep. And every single one of them gets banned. And oh. then I have seen people with their butts out on TikTok. I have yeah. seen some other things that I won't discuss because I don't want it to come off wrong. But <laughs> and it it's on TikTok. They don't get banned. No. And I'm like, how can you look at this and this be on here? And I'm trying to promote my photography business with nothing showing less than a bathing suit. Okay, let's it, put it, it that way. And it happens and, on Twitch too. Um, well I've never done like the whole Twitch thing with that, so I don't know, but okay. So there, there's like literally a facet of Twitch that labels itself as ASMR, and all they do is sit there and bras and panties and lick things. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Like that's that's not yeah. me. I, I won't do that. Yeah, they do so... that on Twitch too, and they get thousands of people going in there acting like, oh, it's so soothing. No, it's a fetish. Don't lie it's to us. It's a fetish. Okay? Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent fetish. Told me was banned so, on Twitch. So Style said he was talking about the thirsty women in the DMs. I didn't lick anything. <laughs> Tommy. You know Trick what? said skip. You know what? Oh, DPS. Click I the went, wrong tab. I went into Wait, a... what? Trick. Come I, back. I went into a stream one time, and it was literally just this chick sitting there in very provocative clothing, yep. licking an air-shaped microphone. Yep. Yep. Like, yeah, I, th I think we know the one that's the main one on this channel, on this network and Twitch. She's literally known for it, gets thousands of dollars a day for it. Yeah. I mean, good for her. She 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 got she's got the hustle. But don't tell us it's not like you, you you're telling me that disguised toast doing anime is worse than her doing it's all that. Good trick. It's all good. Yeah. Like it's not it's not the same. The, oh yeah, yeah 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 we do remember I do remember Hitami. The jars, yeah, yeah. It's so it's this out, just like, went a different pop. direction, right? Well, <laughs> it's but it, but it, but it, but like it's true it's though, because like you're on here trying to do it like more honestly. You're not trying to be like any of them. You're trying to do it like actually being a real gamer girl. Well, and to put it <laughs> to put to put it in perspective as well, I used to be a bartender, um, and when you bartend, they always are like. You know, the less clothes, the better, you know, because we worked at like nightclubs and stuff like that. And, you know, right. they were always like, you know, the less clothes I wear, the more tips I'm going to get. Right. I was always the more fully clothed bartender and I always made the more the most tips. I've always been that way. I'm not a prude. Don't get me wrong. I will. Go, I go to the beach in a thong. OK, like I'm not a prude. But when it comes to social media. Years. Yeah. When it yeah, comes to social <laughs> social media, though, or gaming, streaming, yeah. that kind of stuff, like it's not. 
I, I well, when it comes to streaming or like doing like an OnlyFans or something like that, like that, that's just not my thing. I have, you know, my standards, my morals, the way that I think of things. Um, I have a banging body. I go to the gym and work hard for it. If I'm going to be posting a butt picture and a thong, then that is what it is. But I'm not going to sit here to make money by promoting exactly. my body. I'm going to yeah. sit here and make money off my stupid <laughs> gameplay, me talking more shit than a sailor. <laughs> You know, and the fucking stupid stuff that we do all the time on stream. Like, that's that's what it's about. I mean, we had a – Dev Dev was there. We had a stream one night. We played Rebirth, right? We oh, did not God. play for wins. We did not play for kills. We walked around giving the best death comms and talking about, oh, yes, daddy, please. Okay? Yep. Just <laughs> fucking off and being stupid. Yeah. So, like, that's what – we're here for the content, not for you looking at my body. I could give two shits less. Like, like to be perfectly honest, I thought boring. about introducing her to uh, Emma. I got you, style. Her, her and Emma would get. Her and Emma are very similar. I think uh -huh. they would get along fine. And they both love shooting games. They both play Call of Duty. They're both America. Fuck yeah, let's shoot things. What's her screen? What's her screen name? I might already follow her. I don't know though. Uh, actually, if you dilemma one hundred and two. As I say, if you look in the uh, Discord, um, she has her own uh, channel for when she goes live. Which one is it? Dilemma. Uh, under... You under um Yeti Pack going live. Yeah. yeah I'll just I'll just do this. Here's but yeah, like Emma had the same. Yep. Yeah. She has a, she has the same uh, mentality on that. Like. Oh yeah. She doesn't. Like, she knows she's attractive, but doesn't use the cell. She doesn't care about. No, I will. Si I literally will sit here in a sweatshirt, especially if it's fucking cold yeah. outside. Yeah. I will sit here in a sweatshirt and sweatpants. Like, oh, yeah, I'm not. That's, that's Emma. I'm yeah, not I'm, that's I'm not here. I don't doll up my makeup and do my hair and, like, you know, have, like, the bright lights. And, I like, I have them. I have a studio upstairs. I have enough bright lights. Like, but I don't have to. Don't talk to me about being cold or snow, not snow. I like the cold. I'm not saying that. What do you just Sweetie, go somewhere. <laughs> And yeah, Dile um, Dilemma is like a friend of ours. That, like, she's pretty. She's exploded in the last year too. And that's she's awesome. Just, she's herself, she's like more more of a dude sometimes, and like okay. burps and all that. And and that right there, I will <laughs> hang out with the guys any day of the week. I do not hang out with females. I don't game with females either. It's very rare. Like I have to really know you to game with a female, um, <laughs> because I've 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 let them come in and. They act so inappropriate, it's not even funny. And I'm God, just like, Evelyn, nope. they're exactly the same person. You're, You're out. Person. I don't put up with that shit. I really don't. Like, why, I've... why do you think I'm doing what I'm about to do? Yeah. Oh, I, what, is I she, mean, what is he doing? You're, you're going to be. You're, I, we're going to try to get you to tagged, play with her. I tagged you both. Like, yeah. Here, meet each other. <laughs> yeah, here, meet each other. Shoot things together. Yep, pretty much. Kill, kill little pee pees together. Oh, yeah, no, she. That is literally what she does when she's gaming, because people will hear her voice and just one guy was like, <laughs> "True story, should, One guy was literally just like, "You should go make me in the kitchen making me a sandwich." Oh, like, hey, honey, okay. how much what do you want, do you want on it? And then she'll shoot them in the face. Yeah, like yeah. Literally, literally, this dude's talking so much crap. He has no fucking kills. Emma's sitting there with so with four kills on him. Oh. <laughs> just on him. <laughs> So, she, so does she play S and D? Uh, does she play Search and Destroy? Unsure. I don't. I think I, I'm not sure. Okay, well, does. Search and Destroy in Call of Duty is like oh, she the, would, she would actually yes. That is the most toxic, and I don't like to play it because there is so much to talk, and it's always as soon as they find out you're a girl. This is why I don't play solos. And if I play solos, my mic's always muted. If I play with randoms, and I won't talk because nine times out of ten, when they find out you're a female, they fucking go shit crazy. Like they dog you, they talk shit, or they do like you. But it's very rare to find the ones that do like you. So I I don't because my shit talking comes out even worse, and I will fucking it, 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 it gets bad. Like don't tell me to go make a sandwich. You got two fucking hands. Your mom didn't make teach you how to cook. <laughs> like go. Bye. <laughs> That's not what cooking required and two pieces of bread and meat in the middle. Exactly. So your mom didn't teach you how to make a sandwich? Like, or your dad didn't? Wait, because your dad didn't know because he's a dumbass? Oh, no, his, he doesn't no their rain. dad walked out getting cigarettes, never came back. That's true. Oh, wow. See? Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes. That's the problem there. <laughs> yes. It was funny, too, because I, I, I. <laughs> So Chuck that we were talking about, I told Chuck, I was like, I hate S&D. And then I ended up playing S&D the other night with my brother. And De he's like, Deb, 
you are being hypocritical right now because somebody <laughs> was talking shit and I got real toxic with them and they're like, you need to stop. Meanwhile, Cold Heart, Jimmy and Corn and Party are talking about COD. Yeah, it's not snow removal over there. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> he's like, you're being so toxic right now, Deb. You're being a hypocrite. Stop it. I'm like, no, fuck that shit. I'm not taking that crap. Don't come at me, bro. I'm not, I'm not playing with you. No. I had a guy today troll me in Tarkov, and that didn't end well for him. I swear, <laughs> the next, the well next, no, one of the next games we play, I'm going to be uh, killing him right in the face, which is going to suck for him because he's going to lo lose all the loot that he brings in. So sure. get with Tarkov's our combo, Deb. Really get on bad. our level. So, I've I've kept up with the whole thing. I promise. So what other what other questions do we have? Since we've been <laughs> okay. way off topic. Um, no, it's fine. It's it's still relevant for the most part. Well, it's no, fine. that's what I'm saying. Like. Late, you know, she used to pretty much be straight Call of Duty, and she's been up until on. three days ago. Yeah, up, up until, until three, days, three ago. days ago. I was gonna ask uh, what other ones you play, and then I saw you doing Tarkov. So I was gonna oh. say, you know, what got you into gaming? What got me into gaming? Yeah. I've always been a gamer. I've been a gamer since I was a little girl. My brother's a huge gamer. Um, my brother's a huge gamer and has been on Twitch for many years now, and still is an affiliate. And I made affiliate within a week. And he is not happy about it. Me and my brother actually have the same <laughs> PC gaming setups. His is black, mine are white. He actually wanted the white setup. And I, we didn't even talk about it. And I showed him my stuff and he's like, we have the same exact gaming setup. Um, we've always gamed as kids. Um, probably about five years ago, back when I lived in New Jersey and it was a snow blizzard. So we didn't want to go outside. You don't want to go outside and do anything. We, um, we started uh, gaming uh, Call of Duty because my husband at the time was um, work his work buddies all played COD. So um, we we all would game and play COD every night. We actually would have gaming parties with another couple and their kids. And we would they would either bring all of their stuff to our house, because at that time we were only on consoles and TVs or you know monitors, or we would bring all of our stuff to their house. And we would set up in the living room with five different consoles, five different monitors, and we would all go and game and play Call of Duty yeah. together. Yeah. That's probably the most hardcore setup I've had any guests so far. Yes. So, um, it's really, it's really awesome. And actually right now my, so my son plays in the living room with me on the big TV and then he's got a VR chat. So like, if you see my stream, you'll see like some kid dancing around back here and it's my son on the VR yeah. chat. Yeah. Nice. Cause right, right now my gaming setup is in the living room. Um, yeah. we'll probably be moving at some point. And when we do, I'm going to have definitely a set room for my gaming setup and a set room for my photography studio. Where, where is that fool of a child? He's on the couch. Come to wave. Aiden, wave at the camera. He's pretending to sleep. He's ignoring he's us. He's pretending right now. to sleep. <laughs> yeah, he's ignoring us. Right now. <laughs> All right. I used bye. to love Cod Wars and maybe hate it. So I started out on Cod. I'm gonna kind of answer Styles' question to you guys. That's we started on on Cod on World War II, and it was only multiplayer. There was no War Zone at the time, I think, for that one um so we played multiplayer only domination that is it that was it that was it well when this call of duty Warzone came out um we had stopped gaming for about a year um and then COVID hit so we got back into gaming um and when we got back into gaming we started with multiplayer like normal but then we gradually switched over to Warzone, and so now i hate multiplayer i only like playing Warzone. um and i got my gaming pc last year after i made affiliate Right after I made affiliate, um, my soon-to-be ex-husband bought me my gaming PC. And then we, um, I went streaming from there. Um, Iceman Dave, that's been in my chat, that's been talking shit to us, he was my biggest donation and actually helped me get most of my setup um, for awesome. my gaming. Yeah, so um, I've had a lot of great supporters. Um, and so... And, and quite, a, quite a good mod, if I do say so myself. Oh, yes, uh, one of my one of my good mods. Um, so my gaming my gaming community though is um, uh, supportive of the military because um, I'm currently a Navy wife, soon to be ex Navy wife. But once you're a Navy wife and a military wife, you're always a military wife. Um, so I support the military community. I support the 22 a day. Um, my best friend um, was Army and was an Army veteran and committed suicide. So Did I'm you very know, big. You never got me the information. Oh, I'm sorry. I will. I'll get back to that. So um, I'm very big into veterans and the 22 a day and mental health and things like that and preventing the 22 a day. 
Um, and then I'm a huge gun advocate. I love my guns. So um, I'm that's that's a majority of my community. But I also made my community into a gym community because I rock out at the gym. So I'm all about mm. people bettering their health and, you know, getting fit and getting healthy. And it's not about going to the gym and being this perfect skinny little person or this perfect tiny person or smaller or whatever. It's just about being healthy. And I say that as Devlin knows I smoke cigarettes because I have anxiety and that's what calms me right now. But smoking's bad for you. You know, everybody's got their drug of choice, I guess you, oh, can, yeah. call, you I can say. Yeah, yeah. I've got my jar of pot next to me. <laughs> yeah. So, but, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's, my community is just about living a better lifestyle and supporting the military and it, and it'll all be, always be that way. So my name change is because I'm going through a divorce. Um, I was gamer girl and soulmates cause my husband and I were soulmates. Um, and it's been a crazy roller coaster. and I'm probably going to do a podcast once my divorce is finalized and you guys can catch me on that on all the juicy details. But, um, I did a rebrand because I am now cold hearted cause of everything that's happened and I don't have a soulmate anymore so i i needed to become independent again um instead of being everything team spouse um i guess you can say and it's fine um and like i said i'll always be a military wife and i'll probably go now as like i'm an ex-navy wife because there's a lot that goes into it there's a lot of people that understand it and there's a lot of things that we understand that most people don't, you know, and I've, I've been in a lot of military communities here lately. Like um, one of the, the players, the one that was the daddy mommy thing, um, he's a, a ex-Marine, he's a Marine vet. And um, when I went in there, I was asking a bunch of questions and he's like, did you serve? And I'm like, nope, seem to be ex-Navy wife. And he's like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah, like we get it, you know, like there's, there's a lot that we understand that a lot of people don't understand. Um, so, but yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's my community. Um, I'm always about ne meeting new people and I've met a lot of different people and I love it. I mean, um, I think we've had a lot of different communities like sleepy came into our chat one day and started talking it up and she met me through another military community that, um, brought her in and, sure. and yeah. took her on her own. And she was like, Hey, can I, um, can I jump? We used to do just chattings, me, dev. It was our Sunday night thing. There was like eight of us in here, just like I this, just chatting unicorn horn just for it. Yep, and we would we would stream it and and you were invited you could be on video chat and most of us were we would be in pajamas or like you, onesies like we would have onesie parties we would do onesie streams nice. and it was it was just chatting but we had some gameplay in the background and we met sleepy so sleepy was like hey can i come join i was like yeah sure and she comes on and she joins us right mm -hmm. well i'm a very smart person so like i noticed some stuff and she she was like i'm so happy that you're so accepting of us and da 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 but anyways, we're very accepting of everything. Like I love all people. That's great. So our my community is, you know, maybe based on one thing, but we're open to everything. So Um I I, I need to interrupt for one second. Yeah, no, no, no. Here. You're good. Hey uh, hi hi Gandhi. Welcome on in. Or should I say <laughs> hello daddy? Oh god. Oh no, that's a running thing with me and Gandhi. And oh, calling okay. them everybody tell Gandhi how cute they are. No, <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> but uh, anyways, Deb, uh, why don't you explain just what 22 a day is? Yeah, for those okay. that don't know. Yeah, for sure. Um, I was getting some questions in my chat as well. And then I had Schwitty making a funny, which cracked me up. Um, okay, so the 22 a day is there are 22 veterans a day, and that number has actually risen um, that commit suicide because our veterans do not get the proper mental health care or treatment after no. they have left the military. Um, I will put that into reverse. Our military itself does not get the proper mental health care or treatment as it is. Um, they do back-to-back -back deployments and they are out to sea and gone on a ship and sometimes can't even pull into port for months and months and months and months and months at a time and i'm talking like eight months at a time my first deployment with my husband he was on a ship for eight months straight before he got to pull into a port and i could hear his voice um we only had email contact that will drive somebody fucking crazy you have four gray walls and a blue ocean and it's not a pretty blue ocean it's nasty dark water ocean that you are looking at every fucking day of the week um, you can't get away from stuff. You are stuck on a ship with people that you you can't get away from. You can, you you are living on your workspace. You can't just go. I'm going home. I'm gonna go play Call of Duty and I'm gonna relieve my stress. Right. Um, that's that's just ship life. That's just Navy life. Now I have friends in the Army. I have friends in the, the Marines, Air Force, Coast Guard. 
And, you know, Army, they're on the ground, okay? And I'm going to tell you this right now. There's shit that you see when you are in war because a lot of these people have been to war. They've had to kill people. There's stuff that they have done that they can't even talk about. They come home and they're fucked up. You've gone over there. You've done what you've done. And when you come home, you don't know how to live a normal life. Um, I, You will see in my streams, there are times that I will say, hey, I'll be right back. And I cut my stream because I have friends that call me that I have to go outside and talk off the ledge. I've had a couple streams that I've come on and my streams have been really heavy and I've just played music and we've just sat there because I just had to talk my friend off the ledge again. Um, and these are all veterans. These are all people that have been in the military. So 22 a day is preventing the 22 a day. It's preventing suicide. Um, if you're on my stream, I have a, a um, semicolon and an IGY6. It means I got your six. And it means the semicolon is a sign for um, suicide my whole um lower left arm is going to be in remembrance of my best friend that committed suicide um i have a picture of him um from um, a deployment that he went on many many years ago that i actually said goodbye to him on he gave me his hat and then he's like you know i'm coming home for my hat and he he came home for his hat um so i'm going to do his silhouette on there i'm going to do the boots with the ar and the flag on it and some other stuff so um that's good. do what that's great yeah, so that's, I would say that's that's 22 a day in a nutshell. If anybody has questions in your chat, Dev, let me know. Yeah, no, right now, nobody's asking. No, that's good. Because, uh, like, I, uh, even, in, even in Canada, we have the, the, the same issue. It's not treated as seriously. My dad's been out since the 80s, and he just, this year, admitted that maybe something's not quite right. Well, okay, and so let me and, play on that mic for you. Um, mm -hmm. As males... You guys are told you don't show your fucking feelings. You don't. You, uh, don't, yeah, just, you don't share your feelings. Don't show your emotions. Especially emotion. my dad's generation. Yeah, they were you're like, a man. No. You're strong. You you don't have that right. And I can tell you right now, that's probably half the reason why um, relationships yeah. don't work too. Yeah. Because as women, yes, we're more emotional. But if you're a guy and you can't even show empathy or sympathy to something we're going to, or have any emotion or concern, or like even open up to us, um, it's hard to have a relationship with somebody like that. And there's a lot of guys that are like that. And the military yep. of all sorts, the problem with the military is if you go to them with a problem like, hey, I'm having these thoughts, you know what they do to them? You're out. Here's your discharge. Bye. Yep. Yep. And they don't help them. The VA no. is shit. They don't fucking help them. No. So I mean, it, I'm not a guy. It's, it's across North America and it's, it's, it's yeah. awful. I it's have, bad. I have a buddy who honors those that have you know, lost the battle to the demons on his truck. He has over 130 names of veterans who have committed suicide. And, and they're demons. I go to the gym for my demons. Like, so uh, it's it's truth. So Deb knows that I support the 22 a day as well. Oh, yeah. That's actually it's, how we connected. I think even it's more. Yeah. Dev was was when we found out about that. That was that was like another connection thing for us. Yeah. So, so my my buddy uses the truck to deal with his demons, and you know there has been a few times where he's told me he's tasted the barrel of his gun. So. Yeah, and that and, and that's important. Like I think I think what's important is if the more we talk about it, the more we can get to the bottom of it and help people. Oh yeah, no. Um, so it's always good to talk about it. I think, and because my it makes friend, we're open to my friend Kenny Rose is an army vet. Um, and he actually has bog podcasts every week now too, and he brings in different military people and they talk about different shit. And this has been a topic of a discussion a lot of times that comes up. I mean, it's it's, a bit, it's about a lot of different things, especially veterans being out. Like they talk about, you know, what it's like being out. He wanted me to be on his podcast at the time though. I was going through a lot of shit, so I haven't been on it yet, but it's coming. Um, and, and, you know, we are, um, I know, you know, Twitch is used for gaming streaming mostly, but, um, podcasts like these and other ones that they, um, that oh, yeah. I know of, it's, it does help people to get people out there and to understand and to know, you know, more about it. And a lot of people don't know about it. And, I promote it everywhere I go. I mean, I'm a walking tattoo billboard of it. So I have a thing on the back of my truck that says, you know, 22 a day. People ask me all the time what what that is. And, you know, 22 a day, you also got to consider that covers all, so all service people. 
firefighters, cops. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. It does. Uh, there's. There, I mean, it wasn't a suicide, but we had a uh, tragedy up here. A uh, state trooper had stopped to help a motorist on the side of the road. Ended up getting uh, killed by a tanker truck. Hadn't even been on in a year. It's like, these people, you know, they go through a lot. Their families go through a lot. So, I'm yeah, happy the, the, to be talking about it. The 22 a day is not just military. It is definitely EMS. It's de it's definitely nurses. It's definitely... Those people see a lot of things. Um, yep. They need yeah, to. Yeah. The police. Um, I was a firefighter EMT. I'm actually trying to go back to school again to do it again. Um, I picked up dead bodies off the road. The road. I mean, jelly in my hands. Literally, their spines across the freaking roadway, and it's a sight to see. It fucks. It fucks you up bad. And you have to have. You have to be strong willed, and you have to have the right personality to do it and come home at the end of the day and go. You know what? It's just my job. I did it, and work through it. So. Yeah. Yeah. And. and you are definitely one of the strongest you people style. I know, Deb. Thanks, Deb. <laughs> I feel strong. I mean, just talking about being strong and some people, and I hope more people are open to talking because it does, it does, I know it doesn't seem like it, but it does help people. It does, for sure. Um, even just yeah. being, just, just talking about it, just, just all you got to do. Sometimes, sometimes that's all you need. Like I said, multiple times, I have one that calls me regularly and I know when it's going to be a bad talk and I know when it's just a hey I'm checking in just let you know I'm good and a lot of times it's not a I'm just checking in I'm good I have, I have quite a few people it's so um do you guys know what an empath is yes no. I'm an empath so top that off with my ways of life and how I like to be and supporting everything I'm an empath um, I am a person that likes to help people. I'm a person that feels everything that you are feeling. Um, and empaths, I feel like, are the ones that get the worst shit into the stick because we get hurt the most um, because there's not a lot of people out there that understand what that is or are like us. We love hard. We're there for our person. We never give up on them. Um, and we're very empathetic and we're always there for people. Anybody. That's not relationship-wise either. That's friendships, relationships, everything. Yeah. And um, so... I have a lot of friends and friends that I've met streaming that like battle shit and it's it's I couldn't imagine if I wasn't there for that last phone call if I didn't my ringer is always on um so when my when my best friend committed suicide um I was coming down two weeks later we were PCSing across country so I was we were currently stationed in Virginia um and I was coming back down to Florida um I was going to come down to Florida for a week visit before I had to move across country and I literally was talking to my best friend. Every, we talked every day. Um, and we made plans. We had plans when I was coming down. And I don't drink very much. Like, I'm not a drinker. Every once in a blue moon, I will drink. And I happened to have been drinking that night. I was drinking wine with a friend of mine. And me and my best friend loved to go do uh, karaoke. So I was um, working on our duets because we, we had talked about it. And he's like, we're going to do this duet when you come down. And we're going to do karaoke. And I'm like, all right, we're doing it. So we were singing to the top of our lungs, drunk, not even thinking, you know, having a good time. And I messaged him and I said, hey, um, we're, I'm singing right now and I'm getting ready for it. And um, he said something and it was really short, but I had been drinking. And I said something else to him and he sent me a thumbs up. My best friend does not send emojis. My best friend does not send a thumbs up. My best friend sends back paragraphs to answer your one little question that you had. And I never even realized it. And that was the last thing I heard from him. And I got the call the next morning and the full details. I was probably, when we put the timeline together, the last person that heard from him. So um, people send me thumbs up all the time. And it is something that some days affect, it affects me and some days it doesn't. It's been three years. It's going on three years this year. Um, so for me, it's something as little as that. Somebody sending an emoji, a thumbs up emoji. It's like, dude, don't, don't fucking send that to me. Like, please don't. Because that's the last thing I got from my best friend before he committed suicide. So 
and it's little things. And then, and now it for me, be, yeah. yeah. And now for me, I have to answer the phone. I always answer my phone for anybody that calls me. I always text back anybody that calls me. And if I miss it, like that's the type of person I am though. I text you, I call you, I, that's what I do. Um, I answer back fast and I expect the same from people, but don't get it because they're not like that. But it's because of what I've been through and other things I've been through that I'm always going to be here for them. Because what if I didn't answer that call? What if I didn't send that text message? You know, it's always there. Yeah. It's you never know when that person actually needs to hear or see it. Right. And sometimes it's just to call you and say, hey, and hear your voice. And that's all they need. And other times it's, this is what I, I have literally been on the phone with one of my best friends with the gun in their mouth and they're like, I'm done. I can't do it. And I'm like, you have kids. And I'm talking, I mean, I am literally sweating fucking bullets. I think Dev was on that stream when I came back. Um, I had been MIA, like I'd started my stream and I had been MIA and I came back and I was just listening to music. I didn't care if I got fucking copyrighted banned, nothing. I had to calm myself down because I, I literally, I do mean, you remember that one, I, Dev? I, I remember a couple of them. Yeah. And I, I mean, I literally was like, look. This is what you have in life right now. This is what you need. The demons aren't going to fucking win right now. You know, put the fucking bottle down. Take the gun. Go, you know, like I heard him. And I'm like, nope, we're not doing this today. Today is not the day. And the thing about it is, is that some of my friends know my best friend that committed suicide. What's and up, Yeti? That's another reason why they won't do it. Because they know now oh, how hey, they Yeti. feel about it. So it's, it's a big deal. And yeah, yeah. Uh, that's actually one of the many reasons why uh, myself and Yeti, who's now in Dev's chat, uh, myself, Yeti, and we put together this group as we want to be able to be there for people when they need it and have a good time and share experiences and, um, you know, just make everyone feel comfortable in their own skin, basically. Um, and it's, it's very important, I think, that everyone supports each other for sure. And, uh, so always message people back because you never know. Yep. Okay, we we can turn the podcast around a little bit though. Yeah, yeah, we can turn it back we got, around. We got to deep and heavy okay. here. No, right. no, that's okay because I, I actually you know was what? gonna ask about some of the stuff before, like your advocacy and stuff like that. So it's good that we we do talk about it because it, it is, is important. This, so I was gonna say this podcast is about getting to know the streamers we're interviewing. This is part of you. This is a raw version of you, and this is what people yeah like hear and know about. To be honest, it's like Dev and I both have a community that can relate to this kind of stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, go ahead, Dev. Sorry. No, I mean, I was just going <laughs> to say, like, so, yeah, it got heavy, but it was getting to know you. Yeah. I just, I sometimes yeah. I, like to, I like to bring it back around <laughs> a little bit, though. We don't need No, it's, it's, it doesn't it's have to totally be crazy okay. Either, so. It's. No, it's, what else, it's totally what fine. else you got for me? <laughs> All right. Well, to pivot off that. Um, <laughs> He's like, well, that's kind of it. Okay, have a nice day. This is kind of it. Yeah, no. It's just, this uh, is crazy, <laughs> but Mike, send me pastry. Oh, my God. Yes, please. <laughs> send me pastry pics, not dick pics. <laughs> yes. I will take pastry a pastry. Pics, no dick pics. Okay. So that, it's funny. That's how you Let's get to them. <laughs> listen, Linda, listen. It's funny you say that because I have a friend now, right now that's in Bahrain. And so he sends me food pics all the time. And I get mad at him for sending me food pics because I'm hangry all the time. And the fucking food looks amazeballs. And, like, I know I can't go get that food. So then I get mad about that. So I don't know which is worse. I don't think it's comparable. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I, are you, like, strictly just, like, an F FPS kind of player? Yes, I am an yeah. FPS player. I have tried DVD. Um it's we okay. won't. We won't talk about Dead by Daylight in your first experience. <laughs> yeah, if you want to talk well. about trolls, uh -oh. Devlin. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> what, what happened with that one? He was the killer and came after me on purpose, and and, it was and I told him not purpose. to because I was learning. And so when I play a game, and I'm just if I'm just starting out playing a game, and I'm learning, and you do stupid shit on, at me on purpose. It wasn't um, I'm going to quit and I'm not going to do it, it again. And He's I'm going to be killer. like, He's supposed to kill you. No, but it wasn't like that though. It was, it was, 
he had to be there. But it, <laughs> it's more of purpose. It's more of the fact that if you're trolling me and being a dick on purpose towards me, oh my god, fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm not gonna play because you just ruined me learning, and I don't like it. You know what? You ruined me learning. You know what, Deb? It wasn't a purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I only do FPS. Um, I mean, I can get down with some fucking Mario Kart, and like, I do have GTA that I'm supposed to start up. Um, but now I'm doing the Dark Off grind, so it's kind of we actually thing. did Mario Kart last night. It was, it was pretty bayham. So my brother, <laughs> um, we just had dinner with them last night. My brother's a gamer too. Um, and my niece and my nephew are all into gaming, and they actually have a um a Nintendo Switch, and they have four controllers. So the next time they come up, they're going to bring it, and we're going to try to hook it up and um, stream it, and us all play Mario Kart when um, we do it. So I mean, I'm kind of like, card, really excited. Right? Yeah, but I think the Switch will just plug right into a monitor. Because you can plug them into the TV. Yeah, you can. I yeah, can. so we can just do it that way. Um, but so, like, that kind of stuff. I used to play – okay, I used to play Flight Slim and later with the joystick when I was a kid. Oh, okay? nice. And Doom on the controller, you know, like on the joystick controller. Doom, wow. Yeah. So, Death um, yeah. Um, you know, I've played Sonic and like things like that. I've played Atari games. That's the difference game. between her and Emma. Emma's a child compared to us. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm older. I'm like way yeah. older. I'm usually the oldest in anybody's groups that I'm in. Um, so but I yeah. I all the time that Dev and I are much older than most. <laughs> yeah. So I am. Um, but now, for what I stream in game now, yes, it's all it's all FPS for sure. Mike, because like King Chaos wrong. Oh, sure, he's King Chaos, not Captain Chaos. Uh, like my friend Yeti, he likes he's like the one of the least toxic people I know, but he plays two of the most toxic games. What's he play? He plays Rust and okay. Tarkov as two okay. of them, and he loves both of them. And Rust especially is the like it's the corporate headquarters of toxic. Yeah, and he I mean, loves that fucking shit. And he he's funny. not toxic himself. And he's not toxic at all. No, well, he's like okay. he's a toxic person. Fun fact: I used to play Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, good lord! And, I, and the last time I played Final Fantasy was on like the brand new PS2 that came out. If that tells you anything. Yeah, so I think, well, I think the straight the straight that Final Fantasy has to be brought up. Apparently, <laughs> I think I think I think that should just be one of the questions that we ask. Do you know Final Fantasy? Because everybody does. My name, I had I had two characters. I was both like the kitty cats because I don't remember it too well. And my one name was Ervi and my other one was Ariana. So, like, yeah. I used, I used to, to be play. a Battlefield player. I used to like really... really I've cute. tried Battlefield. I did the beta version this last one that came out. The new one is not good. <laughs> I know. Chuck's not the big good. one. Style, uh, she's I, only 29. I, one of my, one of my oh, favorite games... Up. One of my favorite games is... 1942, which is so a great game. you need to get Chuck in here, Dev, for a podcast because him and Chuck can go at it with Battlefield. Oh my god! Like I'll you literally know this. I, I'll you know li- this. Oh no! I was gonna say I'll literally just be like, "So, welcome to the podcast. I'm Dev. This is Chef. This is Chuck, and I'm stepping back. I'm 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 gonna be <laughs> over here. I'm gonna go take care of some stuff. Maybe play some. Yeah, I'm open to having anybody on. I yep. I could be. I, I'm really good at being devil's advocate, even if I don't know the thing I'm doing. <laughs> I'm very good awesome. at doing it. <laughs> that's I'm, awesome. I'm, 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 that's why I'm the talker of uh, the Yeti Games crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeti doesn't talk as much unless it's on his streams. <laughs> so. That's funny. And mm. and Dev and Dev, you know what? Like the thing is, like the, the other thing too is, like I'm surprised I met someone like uh, like Dev because. He he's he's always had an issue with like meeting new people, but it's like every day I see him, he's like doing better with it. It's true. So, We've had to bring that, him out of his shell. That, that right there is shows you like just talking makes yeah. you feel better and more comfortable. It does. It does. So, yeah, put yourself uh, out there. And like I started doing this. Shoot your shot, like, Dev. Just don't send a dick pic. <laughs> I started doing this strictly on Just Yeti Games channel like a year ago. Um, because we were just, the brand is about was more about like what we were doing together, um, and that was what it was gonna be like. I wanted to be we want to be we want to be more comfortable with people we know we, that we don't know and like get to know them, especially Yeti who's not as like he's he's a bit of a more shy person, with that, but he's got a lot better with it too. And for me, it's like I live in the middle of nowhere now. I did ten years ago, so for me, it's like I had no friends out here, so I needed I needed actual like, friends to talk to. And online was like the only place I could do it. I get and that. 
and around the time around the time uh we were doing it, it was perfect timing because like uh, you know i was going through some stuff because everyone has their own thing right so yeah i, I feel like streaming in general has helped me too so for sure um, and so like everyone's broken out of their shell in their own way i think especially if you're a streamer or do it you know uh but Deb, for sure, the Devlin for me is like one of the most improved. I think in the last year, I've known him almost a year now. Ah, pat yourself on the back, Dev. Like I, I no, honestly, I honestly blush, believe yeah. so. I honestly believe so because before it took forever to get Devlin to even be on with me and Yeti. Because well, then he, he was... must not really like you guys because he came in real quick with us and joined well, no, our chatting no problem. I think he's just like I don't, I don't know what it was. I think maybe he's just like he wasn't familiar how we played together, so he wasn't sure how we would react with him. Mm. But then him and him and Yeti especially hit it off pretty well. <laughs> it's always good. We they would just, do they, that. They, they they would they would tor yeah weed will do that and they tortured me on, on Stardew. They love torturing me on Stardew. Heck yeah. It's <laughs> pummel party. And, no, it was, uh, we, it was the three of us were doing Stardew farm on Yeti's farm. Check is giving the... you thumbs up, Dev. I don't know why. Hey Chuck, you need a fucking message. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. You Speak of the a... devil. You, you need to message me about being on the podcast, you jackass. Do it, <laughs> it do it, my dude. do it. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I said something wrong when I said this, the, the current one sucks, but... <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's a glitchy It's a glitchy mess, and I, I really wish it wasn't. I, really I have nothing to talk it. about. No, you have a lot to talk about. We've already mentioned your name like ten times. Like, I, so... I don't mind it as a shooter. Like, the, the shooting and stuff like that is fine. It's just like, the I... maps are like... Glitchy messes. Like we were literally <laughs> just talking about fucking. Um, Why? Because we were talking about Battlefield, yeah, and we talked about what else did we talk about? Battlefield, and then I was gonna met. fight Chuck over it. Like yeah, <laughs> how we all met, and like just a I'll bunch of stuff. Oh, and he's like... Canadian. He's Canadian, Chuck. That's that's that was. That means we're not gonna fight. We're just gonna like exchange pleasantries and go on our ways. They're just we're, gonna. We were, they're gonna just we're talking. We were talking about sending care packages because he's a pastry chef, and how you haven't still fucking sent your care package to me. Oh in yeah, Canada. I, have, I haven't done mine yet either. I was supposed to send one to Gwen in California she too. Call, Chuck, Chuck, we, she done called you out quite a few times. So basically, all mutual, all mutual reason reasons why Charlie hates video games. Yeah, <laughs> that would be it. <laughs> I mean, that maybe, maybe it. I guess. Uh, <laughs> she's nice. Uh, uh, Chuck, we would love to have you on the podcast, man. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. I'm again, I'm down for anyone to come on and talk to us for sure. Because uh, I don't always have the ability to get everyone to come on. Because it's hard to get people to book to be booked in. So okay, but back to me, Chuck. It's not about you. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck goes. This guy, this Chuck guy, he just bitches about everything. Yes, he does, and he rage quits I mean, a I mean, lot. He he don't definitely we... rage quits a lot. And I also hear he's a terrible sniper. Oh, shit. We're not talking about him, though. I thought we were leaving this. <laughs> I thought we were just going to leave this one. Anyway. Yeah, that's what he said, yep. Back, back to, uh... I don't know where to go from here now, Deb. <laughs> What's the next question? Uh, so, so, you started streaming around the pandemic time, right? Is that what you said you were... Yeah, I started streaming back in 2020. Okay. Oh yeah, it does say that here. It's like around almost like Christmas time. Wow, that's a good time. That's a good Christmas thing to do. Um, I actually made affiliate on Christmas Eve. I see that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> awesome. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I did mine for my birthday in January. This like this. January so my got, first, like, my weeks. first actual face cam stream was set up for my birthday. Oh, nice. Yeah, because I didn't even have a face cam when I made affiliate. So my no, birthday I... stream was an actual um on camera i got all my the rest of my stuff to do my gaming capture because i didn't have my pc just yet and it was an on stream camera um oh, stream nice. yeah okay. yeah yeah because i i just started i just started doing like solo stuff separate from the rest of the group like in january and got it like within a couple weeks because like i have this group that was and i hope so and i was actually surprised how quickly i got it because like i got pretty well, good support we right talk away about quick affiliate time but like, if I started like a year Why? ago, like Yeti, like without anyone knowing us, I'd still be probably grinding to do it. Like, so, like you never know. Sometimes, you, sometimes you just need a little help from friends if you have it. If you don't, then it takes a while. Like, I, 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 
Yeah, because like I don't know how people can do it in a week without knowing anybody. <laughs> it's just it's it's incredible. Uh, yeah. de- de- gaming gaming devil did it for like going like almost two straight weeks to, <laughs> two straight weeks of streaming, which I don't know how she did that, but she did. She did. <laughs> no, no, she says she sleeps, Dev. Okay, just small bursts, just small little bursts, you know. Thirteen hours, thirteen days, eight hours a day. Jesus. She literally made it a full-time job. Oh. I, like, immediately. <laughs> but, uh... So, what, what are your plans for the future of this channel, then, Deb? Like, what do you want this so, to be like? I was really successful and way more successful and had a lot more um, viewers in my chat and was actually making a lot of money um, back last year. Um, and then some shit went down and I stopped streaming for three months and my community kind of went bye-bye. Um, so since then, I'm now trying to rebuild my community again. Um, I haven't had a Twitch payout in forever. Um, the bad, not the bad thing, but the cost of it is that when I was making a revenue and I was streaming before, I was streaming for long periods of time. I was staying up all night. I wasn't sleeping. Um, and I'm actually kind of back to that now in the last month or so of doing the same thing, but I find that I have more people. Um, so I just want to build, if I could make a really good income off of this and this alone, that would be a huge help for me right now with what I'm going through. Um, but I mean, I'm not looking to make partner. I don't think that would ever be in my plans to be honest. And I just want to, um, Spidey. I just want to. I'm comfortable, damn it. I just want to. Um, <laughs> she does that. Just so I know. Yeah. I just want to want to grow my community um, and just help more people and have fun and meet more people. I've met a lot of people through streaming and gaming, um, so that would be great. Uh, one of my goals is to have a gaming meetup with everybody that I game with, um, because I really have made some great friends that like I game with every night. Chuck's one of them. Ever since Chuck and I played, the first time we've played, we've literally almost played every time since. And Chuck is the only reason um, I can still play Call of Duty. And he was the only reason he would get on and play Call of Duty because I don't like playing games by myself. I will not run solo. I won't stream if I'm running by myself. It's not my thing. Um, so Chuck has been a real lifesaver and actually helped my Twitch because he'll get on and play with me so I can stream. Um it's my... not true because I, I feel like sometimes like you have a hard time being entertaining by yourself because you you get focused on the game and no one's there to bounce off you. And see, Chuck's good at that though. Chuck can run yeah. solos and he'll talk the whole time, and he is able to be interactive. And I yeah, I, not. I've, I've gotten a little bit better at that too. But like, sometimes I'm just sitting there for like a half hour, not saying a word. It's like yeah, oh, like, same. Hey. I, me especially now that I'm playing Tarkov. Like Tarkov, I really need mods in my chat because that game you have to be so focused, you don't have time to look at chat. So um. You know, it's 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 different. Um, what was I gonna say though? Shit. Um, but no, I want to have a gaming meetup with my friends. Like, I want to meet Chuck in person. Um, oh, I want to meet randoms. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chuck doesn't. What is my max rep? Um, okay, well, Jaden. Hi, how are you? Welcome in. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. Max rep on what? I just deadlifted 115 on Friday, and that's 10 less than what I weigh. So <laughs> be more specific. <laughs> Max bench. Um, I don't chest press. Chest is not my forte. Arms and legs and booty are. Um, so I don't try to max bench. I also don't have anybody I'm working out with right now. I do have an amazing booty. Yeah. I don't have anybody to work out with right now, too. So that's what makes it hard. I, I can't really go out and max out because... Um, I don't have. He needs anybody. a new swole mate, guys. I do need a new swole mate. I am currently looking. There are requirements. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Go ahead. So no, send, that's send her, send her pastry pics. <laughs> yeah, send me pastry pics. That's actually that is one of the things I really, really, really want to do. I want to um I want to meet up with my gaming community in person somehow. And I know people do it. I mean, shit, they have TwitchCon, right? Like, like yeah. it, it can happen. But I would love because um Kenny that I mentioned earlier, he lives an hour from me. Nice. Um. M Balls lives in New Jersey, and I used to live in New Jersey. Toxic lives in Cali. I used to live in Cali. Like, yeah, so it's kind of. Balls lives in. Jer- oh, I knew that. Yeah, M Balls lives in Jersey. I knew that. Um, 
the hardest part would be probably getting you Canadians over here. So that's that's yeah. the only, that's Cause the like, thing. Because uh, our, our group is literally all an hour with each other, 20 minutes to an hour with each other. We're like all Eight together. Like Yeti, and I, Yeti, Yeti and I are like literally 20 minutes apart. Nebby is 20 minutes away from us. Like our group built it together. So we're like really all close together. And we plan on doing like a house together and everything too, like renting it out and streaming out of it. And that uh, way I'll have some way to stay when I get up there. Exactly. That way we can have people come over that we we met a lot, like Gaming Dev from Scotland and Dev from Boston, Atlas from Pennsylvania. So uh and we want to do a, a a cafe too. Like he Yeti does like more of the gaming part of it and I have all the food and stuff like that, and we were gonna have like a good hangout spot for all our friends and basically. So yeah, we definitely relate to that. Problem to hide my hermit hole. I know you guys start doing that less, Yeti, but it's okay. You'll get there. No, see, it's a, it's okay because when I'm there, I'll just hide in the hermit hole with them, and we'll just. When, when Dev's in the when Dev's in the hermit hole with you, you guys can just get big. Too, I was though. gonna say we'll just chill out with the uh, <laughs> dog machine. We'll get you. We'll get we'll get you, and then we'll get Sally to come up from uh, where where she is, and then bring you guys can just hang out. And then bring that six foot friggin' bong. Yeah, bring her six. I don't think she can bring her six foot bong across the border, Dev. You never know. It's for tobacco. You never know. It's for tobacco. It's for... I don't mm. think so. It's not. I don't think they're gonna buy that when she's like when she's shorter than the bong she bought. Oh look at <laughs> look at that! Chuck just went live apparently. Anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, what's the next question? Uh, yes. So, <laughs> yes. So here we go. Okay. So we, I see you streaming like for a long period of time. You go to the gym. You have a kid. Do you ever have like other downtime? Like you do it helps you relax, or is like the gym is just that place for you? The gym is that my place for me. And if I was rich and had money, I would be going to uh, get more tattoos. That's fair enough. Yeah. Sorry, I just had some inappropriate shit just happen. Yeah, oh, yeah? Do that. oh, is that what happened there? Oh. This is this is what, this this is like what we were saying before. It's like we don't need to like <sighs> have that in people's chats. It wasn't just in chat. I literally just got sent stuff on Discord really? about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then like they yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't, hey, I don't play, and like roll, Mama Bear's roll, about to come out. Roll, yeah. roll this back, roll this back an hour and a half, and tell, tell us that was a good idea. <laughs> All right, Chuck, I'll be there when I'm done. Oh man. Yeah, like I just had to go bit, ban somebody out of my Discord and ban them from messaging me personally with the shit that they just fucking sent me. Oh boy, I'm. Curious. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We, like. It always sucks me to do that because we've, we've actually had someone in our in, in our Discord literally hitting on me, and they've never met me. And they just kind of ah, uh, thanks for following, Yeti. Stuff. Welcome in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeti finally comes over. There, there's, there's my, uh, there's my Yeti. Uh, if you haven't, go give Dev a follow. Yeah, yeah, go give uh, Coldhearted Jim Unicorn a follow on Twitch. If you want to see what she actually looks like, you can go on her channel because she actually has her camera up on her stream. She's streaming it on her side as well. So yeah. it's our first guest that's Simon streaming. So if you see me looking away and you have mostly my side of you, it's because I'm looking at another monitor with her on it. So because <laughs> I'm looking at nothing on my screen. Yeah. So. <laughs> Devil! Oh, I like your emotes, my dude. Yeah. yeah. That is that is Yeti in a nutshell. My dude. <laughs> My dude. My that is dude. pretty much Yeti. Dude. Just... <laughs> Sweet. Hundred uh, um... percent. Him him and Dev will be those two guys when they're together. <laughs> dude. Sweet. So fun fact that I think I can say while I do is I'm a huge lurker of other people's streams. Um yep. so that's what I'm doing right now. I just have to pull up one of my mod streams and I'm pulling up some streams that um I haven't checked since before we went live with our podcast here. So I'm just pulling those people up real quick. And then you can ask me that question that you had asked me. And sorry about that yet again, because people fine. are fucking dumb. You're fine, fucking dumb. dumb. Like, oh. You're fine, dude. All right. Yeah, but it makes my blood boil. Especially no, when I say, uh, yeah. don't send no. me shit. And then you want to be a, 
asshole about it and call me out, bitch, I could like oh i'm a fighter and i can knock you out like don't come at me bro i'm gonna play this is the most hilarious crossover do not fucking come at me bro <laughs> oh yeah yeah no, <sighs> I, like i said don't piss deb off i can see that no <laughs> like see. seriously i will come for blood don't fuck with me you don't fuck with don't, my family don't worry, I'll, I'll just try to break my house i've got a gun it's not gonna it's not gonna be pretty like in florida <laughs> we don't have to say anything it's um i'm gonna shoot you you threaten me don't come in my house like I, the law in Florida. You've seen the news. Yeah, yeah. You don't. You don't have to say anything. If you're breaking into my house, I have a right to shoot your ass. All you gotta <laughs> do is look ways. up Florida man, put the date in, and there's something oh, going on that day. <laughs> That's all you gotta know about people in Florida. <laughs> uh, all right, I got chuck up. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, what was that last question, Mike? I apologize. <sighs> No all right, that, 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 that's all right. Um, Dev, so, oh, I love him. So when you're, so you have, so what do so you like, do what's to my relax? Downtime? Cause like, what's yeah, cause like, what do I do to relax? Yeah. Other than, I guess, go to the gym is like your, is your comfort so, place, right? Yes. The gym is my comfort place. Getting tattoos are my comfort place. Um, if I had more money, I would definitely be covered in more tattoos right now. Cause th the tattoo is therapy. My flag I fell asleep on. Um, my koi fish I fell asleep on, like it, it's very relaxing. The gym is definitely my headspace. I go in there, put my headphones on. They're blaring really fucking loud. Don't talk to me when I'm at the gym. Cause that's how I can just block everything out and do what I need to do. Um, what else? I don't know. I haven't watched TV in weeks. I have shows that I like record that are still on my freaking. <laughs> whatever it's called because i've I've, really I've been gaming oh, yeah. so much so I, I mean gaming i guess is kind of my relaxation too though like i enjoy gaming um you can ask chuck though if i'm gaming i'm streaming i don't ever just game anymore to not stream it's really weird i point to it this now yeah she, my she... free time is just streaming the game i'm playing oh my well gosh. i streamed your well i streamed your podcast that's true devil you did kind of yeah. i guess because she was like already streaming herself watching us do the podcast. <laughs> so I guess that kind of counts. She gave us the podcast inception. Because <laughs> hey. she's like literally just watching. Hey, Deb. Yes. How, how close to. Actually, I'll ask you this after stream. Okay. Do you, you have other questions, Deb? <clears throat> no, I, not something I'd ask her on stream. Okay. Okay, because I, I, we pretty much touched on most of the questions because she just blasted through everything for us, which is great. <laughs> we just let her go. We just let her go. I like to talk. <laughs> all good. No, it's fine. It's perfectly all right. Um, so I don't really... <laughs> uh... Okay, so have you? So you you've tried you like FPSs and stuff, like other than okay, FPSs hold on. and stuff. So Mike, you're you're. This is going to sound funny. Mike, your mic sometimes is cutting out and like, um, it's, I don't know what it is. That's okay. It's, it's, it's his, fine. It's his maple syrup. It's maple internet. syrup internet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so slow <laughs> down. Cause I'm catching like every other word right now, my dear. Uh, did, did you ever play a game that you like, you thought you, you, you thought you'd like, but you actually really hated it or just didn't enjoy it at all other than dead by daylight, apparently. <laughs> Apex, Valorant, any game that Chuck has suggested, mostly are the ones that I don't like, except Tarkov. I feel, now I, I feel like it. I feel like Chuck's been attacked a lot in this show, and I'm not even a part of this. You want to know why? <laughs> because he attacks me left and right nonstop whenever I play with him. That's no. my consequences for oh, playing with hold him. Hold on, hold on, Mike. I can I can tell you why. Let me just. Uh, I think this is it. There we go. <laughs> you put you put you put Chuck's fault as your, as your thing. There, we, that, oh yeah, that's no. one of them. I was gonna Way say, to go, Chuck! It's your fault again. <laughs> oh yeah, no. There's literally like back when we all first met, <laughs> like a month after or something. We all just ended up having a command about it being Chuck's fault, and whenever <laughs> something would go wrong. It was always, it's Chuck's fault. <laughs> it's Chuck's fault. All right. I'll, now I definitely have to know him because, like, I feel like I feel like I'm missing a lot of context on this now. <laughs> no, I, I, we give him shit. He is a great guy. 
when he wants to be. Wow. Dev. <laughs> Man, this constant shade, this poor Chuck guy. I feel like I should stand up for you, Chuck. Don't don't let Dev hold you back. <laughs> Dev or Deb. <laughs> Deb or Dev, yeah. <laughs> All right, how about we uh, how about we end with something good then? I guess if you could live anywhere else in the world, where would you live? Anywhere but Florida. <laughs> anywhere but Florida. <laughs> yeah, um, Dev, I if you don't really have very many more questions for me, I'm gonna have to go because now I'm having some major issues that oh, I'm gonna have to go deal with. Um, I don't okay. know. I don't know what's happened. Um, or yeah. But my okay. my Discord is now blowing up, and I'm getting major spam and stuff I have to block, and now go take care of, unfortunately. Oh, uh, okay, that's that's all right. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what. We appreciate, we appreciate you having yeah. on. We appreciate you having on. No, I I love this. We'll have to definitely do it again. I'm always yes, down for absolutely. it. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And it was great meeting you, Mike. I appreciate it, and I I love your community. We'll definitely um, have you on again. So yes. Devin, I, Devin, I will wrap out without wrap up without you. Then that's all okay. right. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Much love. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks for get, the community. Yeah. Go get. get Great meeting you. With. All right. Bye. Later, bye. Uh, all right. So that was good. That was a fun show. If you haven't already, follow Cold Hearted Unicorn. Um, if you guys like Dilemma, you're literally another version of it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. I think I think that's a crossover we have to make happen now. Definitely, definitely. Because <laughs> Emma's Emma, one of Emma's dreams is always to have like a group of girls that were more like her to so deal with all the toxic girls. <laughs> and I feel like that's a perfect match. Oh, for sure. I, <laughs> unbelievably so. I, I... Uh, and uh, de so next week, uh, it's gonna be an interesting one because I don't know this person. Vord has assured me that she speaks English, but she seems like a nice lady. I don't know enough Spanish to know for sure. But other than Gaming Devil on next week, we have Hollow. I'm trying to hold her and see if I can talk to her in English. Maybe I'll have Vord with me. <laughs> I was going to say, hopefully Vord's going to be around just in case. Uh, but he's assured me that it's like if, uh, Chitofa and they understand what you're saying. Like, it's not going to be a big deal. It's just that she prefers to stream in Spanish, which. It could be an interesting perspective, actually. So, yeah. um, so that's we'll that's Devil next again. week, and then on the twentieth, Dev's gonna have his the debut of his VTuber character. Finally, after all this hype. Yeah, you you your maple three hundred followers. Your, your we maple syrup just like ran cold. How about now? You, oh no! Like you you legit froze for a second on my screen. Oh, okay. Can you still hear me, though? Yeah. No, I can hear you. Okay. So, De Dev's goal was to get to 300 before that point. We've overshot that now. It'd be really cool if we can get closer to 400 for his debut, because oh that'd be really awesome. I think I think Dev deserves that. It's good. Um, if not, that's not a big deal, because we're going to see a really cool VTuber character uh, designed by Penlock, right? Yep. Penlock. So, you know it's going to be good. Penlock. If you've seen Pens, if you've seen Pens, you know it's going to be good. Oh, yeah. And if you watch the podcast where she was on, you have seen her her model. You saw Vord Lily gushing about it. In front of I know, her right? eyes. He's never he never actually interacted with a VTuber before. And it was hilarious. <laughs> it, was pretty good. It, was... it was really funny. Uh, and uh, on the at the end of the month, we have a WrestleMania preview show. It'll be for sure me, Devil, and, and Gaming Golem. We're hoping to get Yeti and Zod on. We'll let you guys know if that doesn't happen or not. But if 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 uh, that little niche works out, we'll do more of those shows. We'll do like the big four pay per views. We'll do other shows, um, just as little little placeholders in between. So that way, we're not scrambling to find guests every week if if it ever comes to that. Yeah. Um, which is fine too, because we could always have our other friends on. Like De Devil's always down to come in. I'm and sure. Right. So. And you know me, um, I've got plenty of people I can ask. Yeah, exactly. I know people like she might bring on, she might bring on her fiance once in a while too. That could be fun. Yeah. Uh, and uh, April, he, I'm hoping because I did talk to him on his stream. Space Captain Space still really wants to come on, so I gotta talk to him and I try to finally get this guy on. Uh, and uh, 
Yeah, Andre Evans and Bruce too, because I've been getting a hold of him too, and he's a really good guy too. Yeah, you're gonna have and to. He's really funny. You're definitely gonna have to give me a heads up so I can take a nap the day before. <laughs> I mean, you knew about this one and still fell asleep, Dev. I took a nap. That's true. You did. You you made it. You made it in time, which is good. Which is good. I remember that one time we were supposed to have a show with space. You guys were definitely not ready to go. You and Devil were like, nah, we, we ain't ready to go. <laughs> I'm always ready to go. Don't get interested. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you wanted to touch on, uh, Devil? No, I, I think that's good. I think that's good. All right. Uh, and if and if you don't already know me, you can find me at uh, the Chef Mike, or you can find me on the Discord or Devil Devil, Devil can, uh, as well. Devil, uh, not give the Chef Mike a shout out. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll be doing some more of that as well. I'll be doing some more. I'm off tomorrow too, so I'll be doing some Batman tomorrow. I just finished up Spider Man. Um, the Batman stream's been really good so far. I've had some clippable stuff. All about the clip. Oh yeah, the webbing everywhere. <laughs> Bagman, uh, yeah, I had, I had to play Bagman Spider-Man for a bit, just just for Gaming Devil. Uh, but I also plan on doing a, a live WWE 2K22 draft show because I think it'd be funny, almost like a parody of like other draft shows for sports. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm the uh, GM for NXT. Let's go. Yeah, you're gonna help me do some of the picks. I'll come talk to you about that later. Gollum's already giving me some of his. I want, I, uh, I I I demand first draft though. Uh, I mean, who do you want no, to no. draft first? I'm not saying it on the stream. Because Gollum, I already know, I already know Yetis is going to be the Miz. I already put it down. No, no, no. That's not how drafts work. Yeti's going to pick the Miz. You fucking know he will. That's not how drafts work. You don't call Fine. before the draft starts. I'm predicting that he's going to pick the Miz. Yeah, unless, as, so, unless as... somebody decides to be a dick and fuck with him. No, well, you could be on. I want to see the devil do it <laughs> just to fuck with them. Because I, I, when the the recent news that they're gonna have thirty six people that are gonna pay for the game that are not even in the company anymore, I'm like, I'm gonna build a whole brand based on that. Nice. Because <laughs> like, there's no fourth, there's no real fourth show, so I have to make a fourth show <laughs> to have four of us do it. Uh... Question, so I'm just going to... Are you go ahead. ordering Uh, I might, yeah. So I can download it ahead of time because my maple syrup internet is well, fucked. Well, you got to let me know because that could affect my uh, decision on first round. Oh, yeah, because you want the NWO for life thing? Uh, no. Because it's one of the packs. Taker. Old school taker? Okay, I'll Old get that pack then. Like, <laughs> you better believe that's my boy. And I know the DL... They said at least the DLC will have Ronda Rousey. But she will be in it, which should be good. Because right. I like, I actually don't mind Rhonda, so I think she's actually a really good rock, she's a rock Lesnar of women. So I mean, if we're talking uh, choice, first round draft pick for the women, Naomi. Yeah, I, I have, I have some, I have some choices, but we'll, we'll get, we'll get, to, we'll do that some other time. We'll have that on uh, towards the uh, end of the month. I guess that's it for me. Um, do we? Are we gonna? Are we drafting? Are we uh, rating out to someone else then while she's dealing with that? We are because we can go to Sally Nightmares. Shit just got shit. Kind of just got real over there. Support her and uh, sure. So um, it's unfortunate that kind of shit does happen to people. Unfortunately. So yeah, I guess we can go since we were probably gonna be on with Sally anyway, we can go to her. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that now. But yeah. Thank I, you everyone for coming on. I'll, I'll, we appreciate you all. I was gonna say don't run off right after. Oh, I have to go to the bathroom, so yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll tell you the message I just got when we're when the mics are done. When the mics are on. Okay. But okay. uh anyways, so uh stay happy. Stay healthy. If it's legal to do so, stay high. And make uh, sure you get a giant six foot bong if you're gonna do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> although, although for me, it'd be it would still be shorter than I am. That's true. <laughs> for we Sally, gonna, it's a foot taller. We are gonna be reading Sally Nightmare. She is playing Goose Goose Duck. 
Me and Mike are actually going to be joining in on that in a minute here. But uh, go show them some love, some support. You want to see me die a lot? Go go to the anniversary. Yeah. <sighs> but uh, anyways, till next time. We'll uh, see you then. Later. Bye, guys.